Good evening, Southeast Texas, with the low temperatures that we're forecasting and the highs, the ones, the values in red our records and will ensure that this uh, December will be the warmest that our area has ever seen since records began in 1901. Then we flip the switch and head towards Sunday and uh, reality strikes early January. It'll feel like it. We'll be good talking about some wind chills coming up Sunday morning. A low clouds out there right now. A little bit of fog, even a few isolated showers earlier at Packer La Prairie, currently 72 with a south wind off the Gulf of Mexico on the roofing 911. Skycam Network. Good evening, Southeast Texas. You can see those very isolated showers moving on off towards the north. Otherwise, it's warm, it's humid. It doesn't feel like uh, December, but it is 73 here in Beaumont in Orange, 72 in Port Arthur. MJ Ponsagraw reporting a trace of rain. He's currently at 74 further to the north in Jasper at 72 and in Warren. Jim Monk at 72 degrees across the state. Temperatures are into the 70s along the coast, 60s and 50s and through central Texas and 40s and 50s up in the northwest Texas. And again, uh, we're watching this Arctic air up in towards uh, the northern tier back over towards Alberta, B.C., Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. And that cold air, watch it as we head towards late this next week. We'll see that cold air head on southwards as we work on into Saturday night and into Sunday. And that could mean some chilly temperatures. Uh, maybe waking up into the mid-30s uh, coming up Sunday morning here in Beaumont, maybe to 50 in the afternoon. No, we're not expecting any snow or anything like that. This is a different animal compared to what we saw in February. This is a dry cold. It's Arctic. As you can see, suddenly wind off the Gulf of Mexico, this front, is going to stall. We'll wait for another front coming in tomorrow night from the north and west, stalling across the area tomorrow night, and very little cooling is expected. There's that front right there, disturbance that'll kick up our winds tomorrow, then it'll lift back to the north. Then we're going to be watching a huge pattern change. Big trough of low pressure moves on in. Instead of a southwest flow aloft, we'll get a northwest wind flow, and that'll drag that cold air from uh, the northern tier and bring it on into Oklahoma and into Texas as we head on into Sunday, and you will feel it. Future cast showing very isolated, widely scattered showers tonight. We'll give it a 20% shot as lows drop into the mid 60s lakes and to the upper 60s to near 70 in the triangle. Tomorrow, highs right back up to 80, maybe a 20% shot. On the Gulf of Mexico, looking at rough seas tomorrow around three to five out there and a south wind at 10 to 15 knots. Our forecast tonight, 20% coverage of showers, warm and humid, mid 60s lakes near 70 triangle. Tomorrow, 20 to 30% coverage, highs lower 80s here in the triangle. Give it a green bar day. Now for Thursday, that front will stall and then head back to the north. Record low and high possible as we head on into Friday, looking at uh, maybe a 10 to 20 percent coverage, 71 as we welcome in the new year. Otherwise, our cold front, after a scattering of showers and storms Saturday, will come in on Sunday. And this is the wind chills that you could be dealing with Sunday morning. How does that sound? Mid to upper 20. Look at what we are dealing with. Only in the mid 30s for lows. Could be freezing temperatures Monday morning. Highs in the 50s. And it'll be the standard three or four day run as far as a cold front goes. We'll